بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ٹوڈے اور سبجیکٹ از کنٹمپرری ایشوز اینڈ ٹرینڈس ان ایجوکیشن ایٹس کوڈ ایٹس تھری اینڈ لیکچر نمبر ٹین ٹوڈے دا ٹاپک از فیکٹرز افیکٹنگ یونیورسل لٹریسی میڈیم آف انسٹرکشن دا آؤٹ لائنز آف ٹوڈیز لیکچرز آر لینگویج اینڈ میڈیم آف انسٹرکشن میڈیم آف انسٹرکشنز ان پاکستان ہسٹری آف میڈیم آف انسٹرکشنز ان پاکستان بیسز فار ڈٹرمیننگ دا میڈیم آف انسٹرکشن نیڈ اینڈ امپورٹنس آف انگلش میرٹس اینڈ ڈی میرٹس آف اڈاپٹنگ اردو انگلش اور مدر لینگ مدر ٹنگ پرابلمس فیسڈ بائی اڈاپٹنگ اینی ادر میڈیم آف انسٹرکشن اینڈ کنکلوژن سو ٹوڈے آر فوکس ول بی آن دیز پوائنٹس نو دا لینگویج اینڈ میڈیم آف انسٹرکشن فرسٹ آف آل لینگویج سو وٹ از میڈ بائی لینگویج اے لینگویج از اے سسٹم آف کمیونیکیشن وچ کنسسٹ آف اے سیٹ آف ساؤنڈز اینڈ ریٹرن سمبلس and uh, which are used by the people of uh, particular country or uh, region for talking and uh, writing and uh, what are its types so language this is basically a system of conventional spoken manual or written symbols by means of which human beings as a member of a social uh, group and participants in this culture express themselves and uh, we can say that language is used to inform others to ask them to do certain things and to express feelings moods ideas information experiences etc uh, language undoubtedly has a very important uh, social purpose because it is mainly used for linguistic communication so there are some characteristics like uh, language can have uh, scores of characteristics but the uh, some of uh, very important like uh, uh, language is arbitrary this is productive this is creative and this is systematic this is uh, vocalic this is social uh, non instinctive and conventional so these are basically the characteristics of language uh, the human language apart from animal communications uh, so language means this is a center of all teaching and learning activities so here we means uh, the main medium and source for transmission of information and language and uh, then what is uh, meant by medium of instruction so medium of instruction uh, this is uh, uh, it's uh, plural means uh, uh, media of instructions or mediums of instructions so uh, medium of instruction basically is a language used in teaching bilingual or multilingual education may involve the use of more than one language of instructions unesco uh, considers that providing education in a child mother tongue is indeed a critical issue so language used to teach and uh, to import then we discuss that uh, medium of instructions in pakistan in pakistan most public schools use urdu uh, but uh, private schools have english as medium of instructions english was made uh, medium of instruction in 18 uh, colleges in 2008 uh, every nation uh, becomes prosperous by gaining an education in its own language then why pakistan uses english as a medium of instruction on the one hand it provides access to jobs on the other hand a huge number of children fails to understand basic lessons and reduced uh, to rote memorization because of uh, inadequate language skills uh, if we discuss uh, then approximately 1 by 3 of all students at a primary levels attend a primary school in pakistan and uh, this division of public and private schools leads to non uniformity of uh, other country in both rural and urban areas so we have numerous uh, options of medium instruction in pakistan uh, like uh, vernacular like uh, mother tongue like first language like uh, uh, native language so there are different languages like punjabi pashto sindhi balochi saraiki and uh, the national language our national language is urdu 
and uh, our official language is english so pakistan has five major uh, vernacular or native languages which are uh, provincial uh, languages and some other regional languages and urdu is our national and uh, we should be proud of our languages so progress cannot uh, come without using your own language so we have many examples of developed and developing countries that uh, made progress by uh, educating their nations in their own mother tongue so as uh, it is not possible for uh, a man to uh, walk with the legs of others and see with the eyes of others so it is equally impossible for uh, him to think in the language of others then uh, parallel systems of education in pakistan uh, we know that uh, the current situation in pakistan is quite uh, down and uh, the education system in pakistan are giving birth to a dissimilarity and vision of social classes in pakistan so as we have three types of system of education working parallel in an uh, as an english medium urdu medium and dini madaras so they all are following their own medium of instructions and uh, uh, this shows the most uh, miserable picture of the whole community so every social uh, class goes for separate setup of education for their children for example upper class upper middle class or middle class so who can afford uh, the huge fee charges of uh, renowned institutions send uh, their children to english medium institutions and uh, uh, the lower middle class who hardly uh, can afford the basic needs uh, they have uh, first priority to educate their children sends them in urdu medium schools as they were uh, of options that at least their children will become educated so uh, some very religious people or poor people who can't afford the expenses of schools at all uh, they send their children to Uh, dini madaris where the medium of instruction is totally different they uh, used to speak in arabic or uh, in their native or regional languages so this is uh, this is no doubt that uh, the murder of integrity and uniformity in pakistan so uh, mostly uh, the system of education is uh, uh, english medium this is uh, for middle upper class and upper class then uh, urdu medium urdu medium is for lower uh, middle and working class and uh, dini madaras this is uh, poor for and uh, very religious people so these are uh, parallel system of education in pakistan then history of medium of instruction uh, in pakistan uh, the medium of instruction um, is the language used by the teacher to teach so teaching the language or educational content through the target language increases the amount of exposure uh, the learners gets to it and uh, the opportunities they have to communicate in it and uh, therefore to develop their control of it uh, pakistan uh, being a multilingual country has uh, five major indigenous languages that is uh, sindhi punjabi pashto saraiki and balochi while urdu serves as a national language so as far as english is concerned it is a language that still follows the same tradition of british rule so uh, the language of correspondence and armed forces uh, as a matter of fact a language plays a pivotal role in linking the past and present and transmitting cultures traditions knowledge and acquiring skills to the other people so it develops the feelings of uh, people enabling them to think feel and act as a unified group uh, it is also develops the patriotic feelings among people so in the country uh, different educational institutes apply different uh, media of instructions uh, thus the controversy of media instruction is known to the general public in the country so this deeply rooted uh, controversy needs to be uh, unrooted to become a conclusive end so uh, here uh, urdu as a national language is being considered then urdu as a lingua franca and multilingualism in pakistan and uh, action taken by different governments and review of policy documents in pakistan so there are different uh, um, uh, events like pakistan educational conference in 1947 then sharif commission that was in 1959 then general jiksha government then 1969 at uh, urdu lobby and uh, zulfikar ali bhutto 1971 to 1977 and the national uh, language authority 1979 and then a and o level examination in 
so uh, people of pakistan mm, uh, come across at least four languages in their life uh, such as arabic english urdu and uh, their provincial languages like sindhi balochi etc so among these arabic is used in madrasas english is used as a official language of the country and urdu as a national language so as urdu is a uh, national language of pakistan and uh, it serves as a, a lingua franca or linked language for uh, all the regions so uh, the origin of urdu can be traced to the muslim invaders who came uh, to the subcontinent uh, speaking first turkish later persian so as far as hindi is concerned so it is one of the oldest language of pakistan and is spoken in the sindh and tinni portion of balochistan and uh, it is also well known fact that uh, pakistan is a country where approximately 31 uh, different languages are vocal except uh, a quantity of uh, uh, vernaculars but uh, unfortunately no single language is usually spoken or understood in, uh, uh, in the entire corners of the country the musharraf uh, government was there in 1999 now uh, we shall see that uh, what are the basis for disturbing the medium of instructions uh, the deeply uh, rooted issue of uh, the medium of instructions carries uh, on with the emer- emergence of the english in the subcontinent where the local languages those are called uh, work- uh, vernaculars by the english rulers uh, were neglected and discouraged just to up- uh, uphold the english language by the east indian company Uh, the wood dispatch uh, in 1854 was the proposal given by the charles wood uh, about the education of subcontinent it uh, points to the core intentions behind this that is uh, curbing the study of indian languages so it aims to uh, initiate point uh, venture of indian languages and uh, english and educational institutions to uh, broaden proper uh, education so some points uh, are there to keep in mind before selecting a language as a medium of instruction that is uh, uh, ever endorsed uh, the understanding of students mm, then full command in language and confidence uh, to speak and uh, always help uh, in raising the cognitive abilities and always create uh, no sense of superiority or inferiority and uh, help the students uh, in conceptual then And now we study the need and importance of english in pakistan so what is uh, need now in uh, days english has become the international language and uh, it plays an uh, indispensable role in every field of life so it is uh, believed that uh, english speaker is uh, like a magician in current era uh, english language plays an important role in the educational institution of pakistan and uh, if we say that uh, in pakistan what is its position so in uh, the country of pakistan english is a co official language with urdu linguist uh, tom m uh, m c arthur reports that english is used as a second language by the national uh, minority of uh, million of uh, 3 3 million of the population uh, out of uh, 133 million so uh, how much it is common so 49% of population of pakistan speaks english as a second language while 8% speaks it as a first language and uh, in which makes 57 population of pakistan english speaks mm, so as a comparison 125 uh, uh, million people uh, out of 1.02 can uh, speak english in the pakistan uh, while uh, different peoples they Uh, have uh, also 188 uh, million they can speak uh, english so english language has a universal use and appeals as a language of science and technology so developing and uh, poor countries like pakistan uh, india or other south asian and gulf countries can't afford to conduct independent research uh, all the important field sciences so uh, the sciences is almost used in field like agriculture industry health education communication and even the everyday life must, uh, matters so english is the best language for these countries so to uh, borrow these researches from the advanced countries so due to its needs and importance uh, english as uh, used as a second language and uh, pakistan is following english due to the uh, different reasons like uh, before partition and uh, current uh, it was a current official language 
and uh, this is the uh, international language this is a uh, rich language and uh, this is the language of science and technology and uh, more employment opportunities are there due to this uh, english language and uh, this is necessary for the internet and computer usage and uh, this is also a gateway to the higher education and we can read all newspaper magazines research papers and so on because most of the uh, research papers newspapers they are in english and the people uh, like to uh, read such uh, printed material in english language so that's why english is also an important language now uh, urdu is a medium of instruction until a quarter of country ago uh, a debate whether urdu should be adopted as a medium of instruction or not uh, would come in the conversation so uh, now rarely does one hear such arguments that used to take place as uh, at conferences and newspaper and magazines and uh, staff rooms of schools and colleges so uh, they are there are some merits uh, and also there are some demerits like uh, if we use uh, urdu as a medium of instruction so uh, as concerned uh, its merits so this is widely understood language in pakistan and uh, this integrates all people and communities and uh, religious knowledge and national literature uh, is almost there in uh, this language and it creates a national integrity and uh, teacher and students can easily understand it so this is what the merits of uh, using uh, urdu as a medium of instruction and uh, it there are some demerits that uh, not a well developed and advanced language this is not so much developed language urdu uh, and uh, this is uh, we have difficulty in understanding the latest advancements and uh, mm, mostly the researches are not available in urdu and uh, uh, the people uh, feel in forty complex and uh, they are unable to uh, get jobs even if you are most in urdu so there is difficulty to get job in pakistan now uh, merits and de merits of uh, adopting urdu english or mother tongue so although they have some uh, merits and de merits so english medium of instructions they are uh, able to understand let us in advancements and uh, advanced research and literature is in english <coughs> rich language it is rich language and uh, language of uh, snt uh, this is the gateway to higher education and uh, more employment opportunities are there by uh, by learning english so uh, the demerits are there that uh, english medium of uh, instruction Uh, the people who have uh, english medium so they feel proud and superiority so this is also demerit and it shouldn't be in pakistani societies so student feel difficulty to exchange ideas and uh, the students have a sense of inferiority about their own language and culture so no reflection our culture values and traditions are there and uh, places an enormous strain on students now if uh, we adopt uh, merits uh, mother tongue as a medium of instruction so its merits are that it enhances the understanding uh, this is uh, quite natural to teach a person in a mother language and uh, this is easy to express ideas for uh, students and it promotes the um, promotes and reflects the culture of the region and uh, the learners gains uh, fluency and confidence and uh, its demerits are that uh, give birth to the cultural diversity and its danger for national integrity and uh, many parallel system of educations uh, they don't uh, have such type of uh, media instructions and uh, they feel difficulty in pro providing all the necessary and required material to the students in their mother language so the problem faced by the teacher and students by adopting any other medium of instruction except mother tongue especially at low level in pakistan so what are those problems like teacher and students face difficulty to exchange ideas then uh, level of understanding decreases and uh, students get fail to integrate the knowledge and uh, minds get and uh, now 
we discuss uh, the conclusion that if you speak to man in a language he understand uh, you speak to hand and if you speak to a man in his own language you speak to his hands so this is saying by nelson pandela in 2007 so there are many examples of countries which make tremendous progress without adopting international language english like china japan france iran and russia although they didn't adopt uh, Uh, the english uh, la- as a language but even then they are more advanced and to their developments so uh, we should uh, promote our own national language and uh, should adopt it as a medium to import knowledge in our institutions so these references thank you very much for being with me stay blessed allah hafiz